Welcome back to Knowledge City's course on programming with Java. I'm Cliff Brozo, I'm your instructor, and in today's lesson, we're going to download some software. If you go into Google and search for JDK download, you'll come up with the page that looks like the one on the left. In the middle of the page, you'll see a go to download link, which I've circled in red. And that brings you to Oracle's website, where you're going to download the Oracle JDK. Now, don't be alarmed if your version of Java is different than this one. As long as the number is higher, you're OK. At the time I'm recording this, we are at Java 15.0.2. And Java is continually releasing new additions and updates. So we're going to search for JDK download. We're going to click on the download button, and then we're going to download JDK. When you get there, you're going to have to pick out which of these downloads suits your need. If you have a Windows machine, then you're going to pick this one down here. Again, you're going to look in which operating system you are running. If you're on a Mac, you'll take the Mac installer. If you're on Windows machine, you'll take the Windows installer. When you download it, you'll have to click on the I agree button and then click on the link that actually downloads the file. After that downloads and you run it on your computer, you can then go back to Google and search for the IntelliJ download. And that comes from JetBrains.com. When you get to the download page, you're going to look for the community edition. This is the free one that we want to use. It's free open source. You don't want to click on the 30 day trial because that will end after 30 days and then start asking you for money. This one, the community edition is going to be free. And as you can see, the only difference is some of the proofing tools that are there. After you click on the download button, you'll be presented with a continuation box and all you need to do is click next. As the program installs, you will be able to run it and create a new project. And that new project is going to be a Java project. And these are the defaults for IntelliJ. During the install, you can just click on Next and then create a new project called My First. Don't worry about the base package just yet. We'll see what that means as we go through the course. When you create My First, what the computer does is it gives you a whole bunch of different default values. The project has the name My First, that's the one that you gave it. It also begins coding for you. It puts together the public class main and gets you on your way to writing a Java program. It presents you with the tip of the day, a little fun fact and coding tip that you might find useful. If you don't want to see this, you can always check off the box that says don't show tips. If you like the tips, you can click on next tip and see a whole bunch of others. Once you've cleared out the tips, you can just type in this line that says system.out.println. That's what we learned in the last lesson. And then in quotes, anything that you'd like to say. Once you type that in, you're going to click on the Run button up in the top corner here, the little green triangle, and that will run the program. When the program runs, you will see your output, whatever you typed in quotes, right there. You'll also notice that the process finished with exit code zero, meaning that everything was OK. The last step is to download the Java runtime environment. So go back to Google, search for download, JRE, and that will bring you to a link for Java from Oracle. Click on the Go to Download link. When you do that, you'll be presented with the download buttons for the Java runtime environment. We click on Java Download. We go through the notification that says Chrome no longer supports some of the Java applets that used to be popular many years ago. With the advent of HTML5 and the security issues surrounding Java applets, the idea of creating applets is now passe. 
we'll get a message that says welcome to Java and there's and the updated license terms. When we click on install, the program will start to install itself and we'll get the Java logo. Don't worry if you don't see the 25 years logo at the time I'm doing this. Java just celebrated its 25th anniversary. Once you're done, you have successfully installed Java and you'll be ready to run Java programs. Join me next time when we're going to start coding and we're going to look at the command line and see how to start our programs. I'll see you soon.